So my friends, what do you think is the most sacred space in the state of Kansas? I know what you're thinking, probably the Chabad house, maybe your synagogue, your congregation. Well, I'm here today to tell you that you got it all wrong. I'm actually standing right now in the most sacred space in the state of Kansas, and that is the state capitol. Now, why is that? Why in the world will the state capitol, a place of politics, become the most sacred space in the state of Kansas? I'll tell you why. Because you see, in this week's Torah portion, there's a dramatic moment. What happens is the children of Aaron decide that they want to become as close to God as possible. So what do they do? They go into the Holy of Holies and they bring an offering to God. But ultimately, they expire. They made a mistake. They ended up leaving this universe. Because you see, there's a message here. The most important thing we need to do every single day is not run away from this world, not escape this universe to the mountaintop and meditate to God. The most important thing we need to do, our mandate, is to be involved, emerged, engaged with this physical world and make this world a better place. And that's why I'm saying that the Kansas State Capitol today is the most sacred space. Because today we have created a moment where we brought the Holy of Holies, we brought the most sacred, the most spiritual, the most godly into this physical space. And what am I referring to? We just established a very special day with the governor of Kansas. April 12th, the birthday, the 120th birthday of the Rebbe, is now Education and Cheering Day in Kansas. This is a day when all people are reminded that education is not about knowledge. Education is not just about preparation for a career, but rather education is about the moral values and ethics that we impart to the next generation. If we want to do our part to make this world a better place, we need to ensure that every single person within our sphere of influence is educated how to be a mensch, how to make the right choices, how to remember that every single thing they do has a dramatic impact on the world around them. So join me, my friends, as we celebrate 120 years since the birth of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And when we commit ourselves to do our part, to make every space sacred, to make every moment holy, and to ensure that everybody we can inspire understands and recognizes the crucial role they play in making a difference in the world today. Shabbat Shalom, and let's light up the world.